Let's move on to the teams now. And the Crows have lost Ricky Henderson for Sunday's clash against the Bulldogs. Yeah, they certainly have. And Treaders joins me now to talk about their teams. Treaders, they lose Ricky Henderson, but they've got four in the squad at the moment because it's a game on Sunday. They're Yench, Callanan, McKern and Kerridge. Which one of those do you like? Well, I think Kerridge has been unlucky all year. We know he missed for a period of time in the middle of the, ga in the, middle of the season, but Henderson's a big loss. So I think Kerridge will come in for him, but he's been great oh, half, off half-back, career best form the last month. So I think it's a big loss, but I still think they'll do enough. One player who's been struggling a little bit this season to his own lofty standards is Scott Thompson. A strange reason from the coach as to why that's been happening. The way the umpires this year obviously throwing the ball up, it's it's been getting from contest to contest for him. He's still our best clearance player, but we've seen now with the way the game's been played, um, it's so much much more continuous. I think um, you know he's sort of struggled to get from contest to contest as much as what he probably would have liked. What do you make of that, Treaders? Well, we know he's been injured all year. We've heard hip, we've heard groin. He doesn't train 100%. We know he's restricted. I'm surprised he's even playing, but to blame the umpires because <laughs> they flow the ball up quicker, that's weird. Let's go to the Western Bulldogs. Squad of 25, they get their skipper back, Matty Boyd, which is a massive inclusion for them, so no outs at this stage. Let's go to Port Adelaide now, Treaders. Three changes at the moment. Hitchcock, Heath and Jonas come into the side, but Cassisi didn't quite come up. No, well, I think it's important, and it's a smart one from Ken Hinkley, because we know he's struggled. He's had soft tissue injuries. He's had a lot of them this year. He's had a restricted pre-season because he was crook before Christmas. So to take a risk with a hamstring, he di they didn't. So it's been really smart. Johnny Butcher hasn't been right with the hip, so he comes out, but... Jonas coming back after the most ridiculous suspension in the history of the game. <laughs> Good news for Port, he's back in. You're clearly not happy about that one, Treaders. Let's go to Gold Coast team. Four changes, all of them forced at this stage. Given all of that, Treaders, can they lock up a final eight spot this week and win the power? Well, we know there's another stuff going on in Melbourne with Essendon, but I suspect <laughs> Port will win. It's going to be ugly weather, but you think Port will win, and I think Adelaide will win too. Good test for them. They've been playing some pretty good footy with not too much reward over the last few weeks, so certainly I think Adelaide can get the job done too. Should be a massive week of footy, Kim. Looking forward to it already.